Chung Lee's getting married. What? Okay, I guess it's a nice day for a white wedding. What is in the box? Welcome to this week's episode of What's in the Box. I'm your host, GQ. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Like the video, leave some comments on this video and the other ones that I've done. Share the video, spread some of that culture junkies love all over the world. We'll get to, tw uh, you know, Twitch and social media and all that other good stuff and merch later. Today, as you can see, taking up most of the table, Selfish Box, we have another offering from Sideshow. And actually PCS Collectibles, more um, specifically. This is something that's, uh, I'm gonna block myself for a little while. Been on order for, I wanna say about a year, maybe? Yeah, about a year, I think. It's one of their offerings from their, um, you know, their statue line. I like their stuff, to be 100% honest. So, of course I was gonna go ahead and, and pick this up. And let's see, we're gonna, obviously it's a bit tall. Hmm. Nope, I think I'm gonna drop this box down be on the safe side plus the camera's up there so definitely don't want to mess that up mm, come on space there we go hmm, no straps I'm kind of shocked but we've got an actual really well uh, formed styrofoam box there so not too bad if you caught a glimpse of that on the through the plastic there you probably saw what's here not exactly something i would have really thought i was gonna buy until i actually kind of took a closer look let's get the turntable out but we have here the street fighter 5 champion edition chung lee statue uh her in a wedding dress now <laughs> Oh, that seems crazy. On the front there, you got a very close portrait of uh, Chung Lee in her uh, wedding dress there, which is hilarious. On the side, you got a uh, pretty good wide shot of her in the wedding dress. On the back, a little bit more of a medium shot. And on the side, another close up. And of course, on the top of the box, Chung Lee, um, you know, collectible statue. So this is part of their uh, season pass line, which as many of you know, is uh, related to the Street Fighter um, characters, more or less their uh, alternate costumes or DLC costumes. Um, crazy enough, one of the costumes they put Chung Lee in was a wedding dress, which is interesting. But um, for those that remember all the way back to the Super Nintendo, uh, one of her endings was her touting the fact that she's going to go out and be a young single woman once she uh, defeated Bison in the, uh, according to her ending, basically. As you know, in fighting games, nobody ever really has the true ending until the following, in the follow-up game is usually when they announce whose ending is real or how the story progresses or whatever. So, as far as we know, Chung Li's never actually defeated M. Bison. There's the straps. Okay, so they're on the inside there, which is good. Put that off to the side for a second. Of course, with this being the uh, exclusive edition, I'm gonna take it out of the plastic, overhead shot can see that. Got a uh, artwork piece here, not signed. I'm actually kind of shocked by that, but it's an artwork piece of Chung Lee and the dress and also in the color that I picked because I'm not gonna have Chung Lee in a white wedding dress as part of my collection. It's just, it's odd. Uh, I'd rather have her wearing a different color uh, wedding dress if she's going to be part of my statue collection here so yeah just leave it at that I guess it's more of a um, bridesmaid dress I guess you guys will see the the end result of course once it's all she's all assembled we go with the uh, PCS collectibles uh, the velcro straps which have become one of my favorites go ahead and get that open of course you got the little uh, tiki god or akuma Want to be? I don't know what that is. One of these days, maybe I should go to their website and see what their logo actually looks like in color. Okay, let's go ahead and get that 
rotated. And let's take a look inside. Okay. Standard uh, way that they do these things. Hmm, no white gloves included, I'm shocked. But that's all right. One thing I am truly missing and I'm kind of, uh, kind of disappointed that they don't do it any longer is they don't uh, include the certificate of authenticity card that I'm gonna, I'll get a shot of it, of course, but all my other statues, I have a way to display the authenticity card. So kind of wish I could do that with this one. It uh, looks like I got 127 out of 400, so it's not too bad. Her base has actually got, um, looks like a little cherry blossom. Well, well, those aren't necessarily cherry, well, maybe they are, I don't know. Leaves, basically, that hit the ground. I'm sure if it was the, um, white variant of this outfit. She, those would probably be white instead of red. But as you can see in the overhead shot here, I decided to go with the red variant. Just because to me it looks cooler. I'll be 100% honest. Um, yeah, it, it, fits, it fits with the overall theme of my, my uh, collection room, the dungeon as Megashawn once called it. So, yeah, this, this fits in better, <laughs> even though still it's a video game character in a wedding dress, or, you yeah, know, it looks like a wedding dress. Pretty delicate, though. I definitely have to be very careful about handling her, because her dress is very, uh, not so much fragile, but it's definitely on the thinner side, which, I mean, you know, it's a dress, it's supposed to be, but... Yeah. All right, let's get this switched over. I'm gonna put her on the turntable and finish the assembly there. Let's make sure that peg is in. Does not look like it is, so I gotta find that right peg direction. Okay, let's see here. So, that looks like that's the front. Yep, much better. One thing to make sure you do with these is always get that peg exactly where it needs to be. Otherwise you will not be a happy camper if this thing decides to topple over one day. Okay, it's gonna be a short assembly. Looks like there's only three pieces to put in place. Once you get her on her base, there are two actually. Uh, you know what, let's put her head on last. It looks like this back part of the dress uh, seems to be something that needs to go on first. It's a big bow and all that good thing. It is magnetized, so that helps get, keep that in place. Also, be very careful, her earrings are actual earrings. Wow, hopefully, unlike her swimsuit variant, and get her head on in one, yep, there we go, in one go. All right, so not too bad. I like the kind of translucent veil look get this out of the way here she's uh, obviously kind of looking down she's uh, grabbing her leg kind of showing off the garter that she's wearing and it also is kind of a, a slight take on her battle dress obviously you guys know me you'll get the close-ups but she's got like some of the writing there on the inside very similar to her battle dress that she wears in the game so let's see There we go. Okay. So yeah, we'll get a we'll push in and get a little spin here. You guys can see exactly how she looks a little bit closer. That's interesting, actually. It looks like she's... <laughs> it looks like the wedding dress is just a modification of her battle dress that she wears in the game. So that's kind of neat. It's different. Definitely we'll have to find a place to display her. Um, Again, this is not something that I would normally purchase, but it was kind of like, you know what, why not? I'm, I'm liking what PCS is doing. Uh, PCS, if you're listening, you need to do another Laura statue. She's got a ton of different costumes for you guys to choose from. My suggestions would be her default costume, her story costume, and maybe even her battle costume. If you guys want to go ahead and just do an evolution statue series, similar to how you did with Ryu, Kami, and of course Chun-Li. I'll be glad to purchase that. Those would be, um, if you remember right, those are third scale. So if they do that, that'll be my first third scale statue would be Laura Matsuda. 
But yeah, the Chung Lee is actually really cool. They did a good job with it. I like the colors. I like the base. I don't know. It's kind of odd. She's way more, I guess the word would be demure than she would normally be. Obviously, Chung Lee's very strong willed and more of a stronger head, you know, go get them type of character. So seeing her kind of in that. I don't know, it's, it's, it's just different, but it's still a good looking statue. They did a good job with it. Overall, I'm pleased with it. I, you know, I thought it was you know, a cool purchase. So I'll, well, uh, you know, I'll get some more close-ups of her, of course, like I normally do. But I wanna take a moment to thank our awesome Culture Junkies patrons. The entire Culture Junkies crew would like to thank you for tuning into our programming. We hope you are enjoying our content as much as we enjoy making it. One thing that helps us continue bringing you our unique content is viewer support. By visiting the Culture Junkies Patreon page, you will have the opportunity to select the support level that works best for you. Not only will your support help keep the Culture Junkie Nation growing, but you will make yourself eligible to receive patron-exclusive swag. Please take a moment to consider supporting us and join the ranks of the supporters you see listed on the screen. We would like to also give a special shout out to our Culture Junkies level and above patrons. Demarcus Smith, Fab Nerd Life, Nanette Net, The Other Steve, and Black Crowned Knight. Remember, for as little as a dollar a month, you can support a culture junkie. Thank you. Once again, thank you to our awesome patrons. And if you guys would like to, you know, join the ranks of our patrons, you can go over to patreon.com, of course, and, you know, look for our Culture Junkies Patreon, Patreon page and sign up for the tier of support that works best for you. Now, obviously, we're not trying to have anybody break the bank or anything. Or you can support us through going to our merch store. And we've got some awesome Culture Junkies mugs over there, frosted mugs. Great for, you know, filling up with your favorite tasty beverage and uh, enjoying the Culture Junkies live show, which, of course, is on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern time, exclusively on Twitch. We have a ton of fun on that show. Talk about a wide variety of topics, anime, movies, TV, comics, games, you name it. And... While I was talking about you naming it, there's a segment on there called The Power Is Yours, where you, the viewer, can take over the show during that segment by interacting in the chat, leaving your comments there, leaving your questions. We'll go through the chat, pick out you know, the various comments, and talk about what it is that you want to talk about right there live. So once again, for the Street Fighter V Champion Edition, PCS Collectible Season Pass, Chung Lee Wedding Dress, Player 2 EX Variant, I remembered all of it. I'm GQ, and I'll see you guys next time.